and Sami. Uh, Elijah is not feeling too well. Uh, he was in hospital last night. I'm not sure whether it's Arsenal. He's just feeling too well. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but on a serious yeah, note, uh, El- yeah, on a serious note, uh, Starboy, get well soon. Uh, yeah, there's a reason why he's not right. Now, I've asked you a question about what happened and, and bec- uh, bec- what you think is this, has it ended or is it? And the reason I've done it is because I've seen a lot of people who've been asking me, they're like, eh? So what do you think? What's your diagnosis? I'm trying to look for... I'm, I, mean, I don't know whether... You know, Teddy has a thing. He stops this this machine when I want to play for people a good clip. So even now I have yeah. a feeling he has stopped. He always does it. Let me see. Let's a go. Night. Let's go. Yeah. The end. The end. Make sense of that. Where on earth are we now? A night of dismay. A night of hope lost and restored, a night of salvation, a night of despair and elation, a night of such raw emotion, and at the end of it all, curiously, we are where we started, a goal in the very first minute, so nearly a winning goal in the 100th minute. So, like Peter Drury says there, we are exactly where we started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what we started at the end of... It's pretty much maybe where Arsenal is at the end of it all. Mm-hmm. What do I mean? You have to get a result at City. Yeah, yeah you have to. They really have to get a result. But the question is, yeah. what do you th- guys think it's gone? Not uh, quite yet. Or do you think it's not? And if not, okay, you said not quite. Not quite yet. I think the City game, the Arsenal versus City game at the Etihad will be the decider. Because if City win, they'll have uh, an edge over Arsenal. And we've, we've known City, once they get at the top of the table, you won't be able to dislodge them from there, from that, that point. That's why I think it's the decider. Uh, what I can say, Arsenal, you're still top of the table. You're still, you ha- you're, still ha- you're still five points ahead of them. You're still five points ahead of them. So they have to get a result at City. I don't, as you see, I don't think it's really a title decider. I mean, mm. If they ga- can get a point there, they now have to be perfect. The thing is now, they have to win all their games. They have to be really perfect. And hope now City drop a few points. But what I usually say even as a Liverpool fan when you are chasing this thing, the moment you, you unata- unatafuta other people to do the work for you, most of the time it's out of your hand. It's very difficult. You can't control that. I remember we, we were we were winning the league at uh, the first half time. Yeah. Ile Gemia Villa. Yeah. yeah. The first half Liverpool <laughs> were, were winning the title. Kidogo. Mm. Baka gone. 70th minute. Baka, mm. aye, and then Kidogo. And that thing breaks you, especially as a fan. So Arsenal fans, brace yourselves. <laughs> brace yourselves. I don't think it's really out of there, but probability in the work. Tunacheza sasa tuna percentages. <laughs> okay, me, I feel imeenda. In my opinion, and Number one is just marrying what Manchester City is doing at the end. You've, you've talked about that run that Leicester City made. Like, you need to be honest, the teams that were chasing Leicester, what were you going to do? Tottenham and Arsenal. At the same time, they were dropping points. But this time around, when you look at the level of opposition that Arsenal are facing, they are, they are against the Manchester City. No, no I refuse to buy that Norton. argument. No, no, no. Let's give Leicester its props. Leicester <laughs> led yeah. this thing from the start. Yeah, and my did. friend, just remember what they did to City at City. Yeah. Yeah. That is actually mm. the day everyone went like, mm. this is going... To... Do you remember? Yeah. Robert, when, when, when Peter Drury actually said, mm. if you're switching on to this game, yeah. uh, Robert Hood is on a hat-trick. <laughs> like, and that's when you realize. Because... Liverpool did it by bashing everyone. All you those uh, no Leicester. They, Leicester, they 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 yes. beat Liverpool. They they were yeah beat. even they United. Beat they beat exactly. United. So so let let's let's okay. leave Leicester out of this. Let's take two. Yeah. Be, okay. Uh, so so number one, they're dealing with them with the monster as you as you talked about. And yes. then uh, there is no denying it that the team with the is, is easier running is Manchester City. And I'm looking at the next fixtures that Arsenal have got that Manchester City game. And then after that they play against Chelsea. I think they're going to win that. But then they play Newcastle United and they play Brighton. So when you look at the level of difficulty that is there ahead of them and buying what they've been able to do against Southampton, against West Ham, it's going to be tough for them. So I think it's it's inevitable. Manchester City are going to win this. I think their main problem is not what City will do. Mm-hmm. It's what Arsenal can do. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like Arsenal just don't... The Arsenal just need to win its games. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think Arsenal... Arsenal haven't looked like a team that's going to go away to Newcastle and win. 
I'm not worried about the Brighton game. I think by the Brighton game, uh, Brighton will be almost on the beach. Like they're calling it. It will almost be on, a be it will almost be on the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the Newcastle away, is, I think it's really hard. Yeah. The mm. Chelsea at home is really hard yes. because Chelsea, it's a derby and Lampard might just oh, yeah, find something from somewhere. Mm. My, my fear is whether they can put together a run. And I feel like when they look back at this season, they are going to go like and say, we could have changed something in January. Because I think Trossard has been a useful addition because he's experienced. Yes. Yeah. So I wonder whether instead of QER, they got a, a, a more experienced centre-back, aging-ish someone. Mm -hmm. I, bef instead of playing Fab, uh, Fabio Vieira mm -hmm. in, on, on Friday, why not play Jorginho? Jorginho yeah. I cannot understand yeah. why they didn't yeah. play him. Mm -hmm. and, and also, the, oh, like you said, missing Xhaka. So I... I <sighs> do I still think they have a chance? I, do I be, someone actually asked me, do you believe... Arsenal is winning the league. I no longer believe, no believe yes. but I think they have a slimmest of the slimmest of the slimmest of chances. Yeah. Because I have a feeling City will drop points. It's just that I don't think Arsenal can take can advantage of it. On it. Capital, that's the word. Mm. So let's see. Saji says yes. Uh, let's go again. And then Don Coach Street is tagged me on something about Burnley. Please leave us alone. Yes. <laughs> we have <laughs> we have been promoted. Not even that is talking about. Oh, you, uh, they played a, a weekend yeah. team. No, no, no. Leave us alone. We have qualified. Ruben is asking. Kwanu Wakabi Metoka in TV. My guy, these studios are literally <laughs> twenty meters apart. Yeah. So I jumped from one into the other because yeah. work has got to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, why is no one talking about Jose Mourinho's resurgence at AS Roma? He's doing wonders with an average squad. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's done oh. really well. Mm. He's number four. Uh, I think that's okay. It's, it's, it, it could be better, but I think he's trying. He, he's trying, but I think he wants, he needs to go back to where there's a bit more money. Yeah, uh, and of course the the, the win against Feyenoord is looking at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hope he wins the Europa. I really <laughs> hope he does I it. Hope so. uh, good morning from Lakeside, uh, Wakabi and the Football Fix crew. For Arsenal, I can put it as match fixing because I'm unable to fathom it. Ah, <laughs> match fixing. And they were. <laughs> About the Arsenal, just what you said yesterday, pedigree, nothing else. No, pedigree, I apply it more on the Champions, Champions League. League. Than this yeah, one, yeah, I just yeah. think Arsenal are just a young, uh, they're just, just a baby squad. And, and like, in, in, in a Kuatungumu. I think that's just it. Uh, Wahome says, uh, yeah, I've just come on. Yes, Wahome. I'll be here until one, until one. The beauty of our studio is I've got London. We are watching London on one side. So we yeah. can see what's going on. That's why you can hear me crying every time I see, when I saw Bridget do the things that have happened to her. I had Gary Neville and I say, call uh, Arsenal an emotional team early in the season. Then I had Andre and I thought this could be an issue. I actually mm. agree. And one of the things you guys keep talking about Zichenko, I don't like that thing that he does. Uh, I, do, I don't, don't like it. Well. That it's it's too well. emotional it's too for much. no. You you need to keep. I I'll play you guys that clip off here. You'll mm. be able to get what I'm saying. Like it's just too emotional. Uh, Saliba was everything to the Arsenal defense and also uh, ball playing skills, especially to Saka. I agree. The narrative has always been City will win it. Arsenal has overachieved. Uh, so you guys need to be a little gentler, you overreacting. <laughs> By the way, I am with you, Jal Stevens. I think Arsenal have overachieved yes. because how many people had Arsenal in the top four? I think I might be one of the few as who had Arsenal in the top four. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I, I yeah, I had I them in the top them, four. To uh, but yes, no, I we didn't think they'd be taking the fight the way they have. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Exactly. Uh, so yes, I think they've done well. Fact, yeah. uh, then Andiwo says, Saliba missing cannot be the reason for bottling three games. This is very much unprofessional. I refuse. When anyone says it's unprofessional, I refuse because no, I think they're, 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 they are professional. They're, they're the yeah, yeah, when you call someone a professional, it means that they, they, <laughs> they don't show up. Yeah, no. <laughs> Good morning. Mary is tuned in. Says uh, Kama Kimani. Arsenal is just lacking leadership in the team. The team is young, decent, but no elite player to lead them. Uh, yes, and there will be no treble for City. Arsenal is lacking a spine of experience. General, says Raf. Uh, which is so critical at this stage of the season. Yep. And then uh, Coril says, I see you guys on spot on. Yeah, I'm in both places. Yeah. And then Hope says, Ateta, Jesus, uh, Ateta Jesus Zichenko was with Pep to learn what happens at this stage. They were never going to win it. The question is, how crucial was Zinchenko in in, in City winning the <laughs> no, thing? I, I did, how did crucial was, was Jesus? You know, you, for you, you've got to be a, an integral part of something. Yes. Yes. Zinchenko came on at halftime in the Villa game, yeah. the 3-2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you never start like this. You, if I asked Teddy, Teddy, who are your most important players oh, last boy. year? He's not going he's to not say there. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You see, he's going yeah. to say Gundo and okay. KDB KD. and whoever it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so so I, I think that's 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 what's happened. To all Arsenal fans, United fans will be there. We shall be there. Again, <laughs> this thing becomes a United thing very quickly. <laughs> then Tony Malesi says, besides weak mentality wow. and inexperience in the title race, Arsenal defense has two huge holes due to holding a Zinchenko, absence of Zalib. I agree with Zinchenko. Mm. Now, I know you guys love this modern football where inverted fullbacks. Yeah. I don't like those things. <laughs> 
Please stay as a fullback huko huko. Didn't you see the trend one? I didn't see the trend. The trend one, the Zinchenko one, uh-huh. uh, when Malaysia tries it and Dalo. Please John Stone, look guys, <laughs> City is a whole different. You see, here's the thing. Yeah. City are the ones who've built this style. Yeah. They know what they are going where they are going with this style. Every other person who's copying it, please leave it. Cause John Stones does it excellently, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but there is a way City is City no ex. Ah no, please full back. It's just like this old goalkeeper playing football from ba- from from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Two big mistakes this week, please. Yes, they were they were guys who were questioning whether there is a there is fatigue in the squad. Have you seen that? I don't think there's fatigue. If anything, I think them not playing every every three days yes, is affecting them. Yeah, okay, exactly. they're having too much time to overthink. I think, mm. I think, I actually feel it's the other way around. Them playing, it's just making them feel like everything is, 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 like you have a whole seven days to think. Like now they have a, they have, now they have four days. Yeah, but yeah, last okay. week they had the whole six days to think about West Ham. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. City so are going game up. by game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think what happened again is West Ham. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I think yeah, it's too much. The questions were all about Saka and whether he'll be taking more penalties. For I feel team. I feel like they have too much time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if they had more competition, but key thing is just leadership. It's just older heads, wise heads, mm. wizened heads, guys who know where to go, when to go, and guys who can tell them, relax, guys. It's not about winning with style now. It's just getting over getting, the line. Yeah. Yeah. And also yeah. they're unlucky in that their gap wasn't because Napoli is going through the same thing. Mm-hmm, eh, Napoli have won yeah, one of their last yeah, five. Yeah. Eh, all of a sudden, it's mm. and luckily for them they had a twenty point lead. Yeah, yeah, so the, yeah, the closer you over. get to the finish line, there is that pressure to, yep. to get over it. And sometimes when there is that too much pressure, you overthink it. Yeah, you try to yes, you try to you know to change or to try a few things here and there that sometimes doesn't work. You just have to stick with what you know, what you've been doing, yes. and just get it over the line. Guys, uh, enough about the Arsenal and City. Uh, let's come back. We discuss the other things that have happened. Chelsea are looking for a coach. They can't seem to find one. Whichever yeah. they get, they lose. <laughs> yeah. uh, so let's come back, talk about that. It's uh, four minutes on to noon. You're on the football fix with Chep and Sammy and Teddy. And yes, the London Marathon is going on. The women's race is quite moving on along.